Here's the breakdown of how I did NFL for Uzi. The sample from Matthew Gomez and Raf, they sent it to me at 140. Ableton, you have to go to the front of the sample to get all the audio in the loop. I bring this back, loop it here. And then I pitched it down to the first loop. I duplicated the channel and added another piece of the melody back in to layer up under that. And that's what gave it the grit and the aggression. We'll bring that here. And I started like that. We got the snare, which is a snare slap. That space in the front bring a little extra bounce to whatever you're doing by leaving that in there. So it's not exactly hitting on the one, but it kind of gives your track a little bit of a swing or something like that. Pattern we had. Simple. Little rim snare from my guy Bricks. Simple. Hats were a little all over the place to give some character. A little velocity on there. This one percussive sound. It's like all the way at the end of the bar. It's almost like a money machine roll. On the one, little triangle. We got snaps. The bell gave it that dark feel. This 808. with the melody, everything. My normal arrangement is I'll give them a little bit of a intro in the beginning, half of a hook right after that intro, go straight into the verse. And normally I give a 12 with a little pre before the full hook at the end. Components that are there for the beat, he's gonna reorganize how he wants the music to be under his vocals anyway. So I don't do a lot, I do enough so that way he's got pieces that he can reorganize as needed. Master track, I use Black Box. 51, 53. And that just glued everything together at the end. And yeah, we're redlining, but who cares? Fresh me with my table, tell me. Fresh me with my team. Big body, I'm free and I'm free. I'm just smoking my soda like I'm in that town. Bitch, don't call my phone, you heard I'm doing well. I don't give two apps like a Fendi bell. Whoopin' all these babies, I need, and I change your bitch, that's your bitch.